Pro Football Focus has dubbed the Saints offense as perfectly inefficient with Drew Brees under center. His average depth of target has steadily declined the last eight years, while his passing grade has risen overall. And over the past three years, Brees has the best passer rating out of any quarterback just ahead of new division rival Tom Brady. And according to Fox Bet, Brady is projected to have more passing yards than Brees in 2020. So Shannon, you know, 40 is apparently the new 30. So which 40 plus quarterback do you expect to have a better season? <laughs> you see how we changed this narrative? Now, it, once upon a time, Tom Brady only cared about winning. Tom Brady only cared about winning because Peyton Manning was putting circles around him. But Peyton wasn't winning championships. Tom was winning championships. And I heard every pundit across every platform, all Tom Brady cares about is winning. All his fans in New England, all, Tommy, Peyton can throw for 400 yards. Tommy's going to hold the trophy in order to make Tommy look good. Now Tommy doesn't go to two because he can't be judged by championship. Well, what about the numbers that he put up? He put up better numbers than Drew Brees. Oh, no. I'm not going to let y'all change that skill, Bayless. Oh, no. Tom Brady is going to always be judged on championships. I'm not going to let you change the scenery. A penguin is a penguin no matter where he is. I don't know where he's from, where he might be at, Arctic or somewhere, wherever they're from, Skip Bayless. You can put him in the Brooklyn Zoo, you can put him in the San Diego Zoo. It's still a penguin. That's still Tom Brady, and he still should be judged by championship. Now, he might have better numbers than Drew Brees, but Drew Brees going to win the division, and isn't that all that matters? Who wins more? Who goes further? I got the New Orleans Saints. Stop trying to change the narrative so Tom Brady, oh, but look at the numbers that a 43-year-old put up. Did he win the championship? That's all I care about. At the end of the day, that's all I'm judging Tom Brady on. Not how well he played, not how many touchdowns he threw for, not how many passing yards. Did he win Super Bowl 55? We're not changing the narrative now just because Tom Brady's in a new location. He's still Tom Brady, and Skip Bayless told me just the other day, he's still the GOAT. So GOAT should do GOATish things and not concern themselves with stats and concern themselves with Lombardis. Did you just compare Tom Brady to a penguin? Yeah. A penguin? My skill failure. See, you see what you're trying to do? Blatant blasphemy. Skip, I'm saying no matter where he's located, Skip, I'm saying just because he might not be where his home is. You take him out of his natural habitat, put him in the Brooklyn Zoo, put him in the Columbus Zoo or the San Diego Zoo, it's still a penguin. Take Tom Brady out of New England. He's still Tom Brady, although that's no longer his natural habitat. Where he spent 20 years, he's going to Tampa. He shouldn't change. You shouldn't be basing it on that. When are we ever concerned with stats? We never ask who's going to have better stats. Tom Brady or Pat Mahomes. Tom Brady or Drew Brees. Prior to Tom Brady going to Tampa, because now he doesn't have that luxury of having Coach Belichick in that system in place, we got to give something where Tom Brady can hang his hat on. Yards. No, I won't allow it to happen. Not on my watch. So why not compare Tom Brady to the king of the jungle, to a lion? You can take the lion out of Africa. You can put him in Foxborough. You can put him in Tampa. You can put him on the, this yeah. lion on the beach. He's still Tampa, a lion. And okay. he won't, so he's still a lion. He won't lie on the beach. He'll just go right out. He'll just trot right over to the stadium and devour more competition. So let me put this narrative right back on track in your wheelhouse. Tom okay. Brady will have a better statistical season than Drew Brees. And Tom Brady's football team will win the division over Drew Brees' football team and will win the conference and get to the first ever home Super Bowl played by a home team. How's that for narrative? Do you like it? Can you digest it? I like it. Can you handle it? Yeah. Does it make more hold sense on, to on. you? Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Skip. No, no, no. No. I got to get this down. Okay. So we got five cases on the division. Now we got another five cases on them winning the conference. So that's 10 total cases that you bet on Tom Brady. 10. Mm. Okay, I did not bet you on the conference. I did bet you on the division, but I also oh, bet you just... that Tampa's record, Tampa's record will be better than New England's record, and we got 10 cases on that. So we're 10 no, there, we got, we got... five on the division. 
Yeah, we don't have any on the conference because what, what are they? They're, they're probably the fourth seed, you know, the fourth best odds to win the conference somewhere in that ballpark. So I need yeah. four to one odds. So if you want to bet no. five cases on the conference, then I win 20 cases if, if I win that no. bet, right? Hold I'm on. good with so, that. So no, but you ain't giving me no odds with the Patriots. I mean, we down to bare bones. We got nothing in the cupboards. And you expected me to whip, whip up this uh this seven star this seven course meal when I ain't got nothing in my cupboards. You ain't give me no odds. You started it. You were the one who suggested the bet in the first place because you were so sure way back before free agency even started that New England was <laughs> going to be better than Tampa, right? With, as well, soon as Tom we'll Brady get, signed with Tampa, the first thing you said. I thought I thought that Bill Belichick would make a play for at least Andy Dalton to Cam Newton. I ain't know you're going to ride shot all the way with Stitch. Okay. okay, well, that's on you. That's your fault. <laughs> so we're going to talk about Cam Newton and Bill Belichick a little later in the show. But right now, back right. to Drew Brees. These numbers were startling to me because it's clear to me that Drew Brees has declined more at age 41 than Tom Brady has at almost age 43. Because what was happening last year was he just has no mustard on the deep ball at all. He just can't throw the deep ball because in deep passing percentage last year, Drew Brees ranked 35th. In air distance, he was 27th, how far he's throwing passes. In, in air distance completion percentage, he was 30th. So it, it's just showing you no deep ball, no deep ball, no deep ball. Yet he did wind up eighth in the league in yards passing per game, which is pretty decent. How is that? Yeah. He's all time dinking and dunking. Tom Brady's still got a big arm. That will be showcased more with this offense and these weapons, Bruce Arians, obviously Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, all the others, in Tampa mm -hmm. than it was in New England where he had the worst receiving core in football. So to me, I saw no diminishing of arm strength on Brady's part last year in New England, and I think you'll see none this year in Tampa. But Drew Brees is just all-time dinking and dunking, and it still works pretty well until they ran into the Vikings in a home wildcard game. Home game in that Superdome, arguably the hardest place to, to win at in pro football, and Drew Brees was pretty lousy in that game. He had a big late interception. He lost a, a sack fumble. He had a QBR of only 47 in that game. Threw for only 208 yards in that game. And they finally lost to Kirk Cousins and the Vikings in overtime, 26 to 20. So are you sure that Drew Brees isn't starting to hit the wall or has he already hit the wall? Sean Payton blurted yeah. out a month or so ago, it's it's Drew's last season. I don't I think that was news to Drew, but I think Sean Payton is ready to segue on to either Taysom Hill or Jameis Winston, whoever the next quarterback of the Saints will Jameis. be. Skip, but when you look at it, Skip, you talk about uh, uh, Tom Brady. Tom Brady hadn't been bombs away since Randy Moss. Now, who's more? He's the king of the screen, swing pass to the back out of the backfield, and the shallow cross option route to Julian Edelman. So when was Tom Brady bombs away like James, like James was in Tampa or like Pat Mahomes in New England? When was the last time we saw Tom Brady like this guy throwing bombs? Wait a second. In, in deep passing numbers, several of the websites, they have different sort of analytics for it, different formulas. But I saw one the other day that ranked him fourth last year in deep throws. Yeah. In complete, in, you know, per percentage of completion of deep throws. I think one had him yeah, but he tied for first in tight window deep throws of 20 plus yards last year. But he's 27th in yards per attempt and 27th in completion percentage. So something's not computing here. You know, the computer, I'm trying to. Mm. Hold on, let me get my calculator out. Mm. Yeah. That was something that ain't up. 27th in completion percentage, 27th in yards per attempt. So, I mean, what that means, Skip? Yeah. Mm. So how you bombs away if you 27th in yards for Tim? How are you bomb? Huh, wait, did he have well, Antonio Brown last year? Well, he did for a no, minute. You, did he have Josh Gordon? See, well, he did for about three minutes. Did he have Julian no. Edelman last year? Well, yeah. 
So see, he had, see, he needed surgery on his shoulder. He had cracked ribs. He had a bum knee, and he led the league in drop passes. Ah, oh my good skill. What shade did you paint your house of excuse with? I mean, that's a beautiful teal shade of excuse mm. that you just used for Tom Brady. Mm. Just painting the wall. Jenny, you see that? He painted the wall teal excuse. Mm. And then he got a bright, uh, uh, a nice, uh, uh, new, new, you know, new color up in his room of excuse. He had a bum shoulder. He had a bum knee. He didn't have this. You never, I mean, ow, oh, Skip Bayless. In all my years, you never made excuses for anybody like you make for the goat. What kind of goat you got to make excuses for? Now, your guy, when Michael he Jordan had Phil Jackson, hold on, wait a minute, Skip, hold on. Michael Jordan had Phil Jackson for the better part of his career, and Magic had Pat Riley, and some of the greats had Coach Arback and Greg Popovich. You don't make concessions like that for LeBron about what he didn't. All you do is say he choked. Not Tom Brady couldn't beat Ryan Tannehill in a playoff, and you make excuses. The fact of the matter is Drew Brees has never been bombs away. This has always been Drew Brees. Now, he would throw it deep when he had Ted Ginn Jr., but Ted was hurt for the better part of the season. It's unbelievable to me, Skip, like a lot of people. How can someone not cover Mike Thomas when they know he's not going to run anything over 15 yards? Well, Sean Payton has done a great job of diagramming, uh, 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 putting Drew Brees in situation, and Drew Brees is the, uh, has the highest completion percentage in NFL history. So it worked for them. Just like Tom Brady swinging the ball to the back out of the backfield and hitting Julian Edelman on shallow crosses and option route, it worked for him. And before that, it was Wes Welker. Mm. So stop making excuses. Mm. Your guy might have better numbers, I'm but not. your guy won't go further than Drew Brees.